Neighbors say a home on their block has turned into a business and they're fed up with the mess it is causing and say the city isn't doing any, anything about it. News 13's Brittany Bay joins us now. She spoke with the city and with neighbors. Brittany. Dean, it is an eyesore to begin with when you add the traffic and the noise that comes with a front yard yard auto repair shop. Neighbors say it's just a nuisance. It's a nice street in a quiet neighborhood. I have lived in this house uh, for 15 years. I've lived in the general neighborhood for 45 years. At least it was until the front yard of this home became an unattractive auto repair shop. Looks like they need a dismantler's license or you know, you can't be parting out cars in your front yard. It's just a mess. It's been that way for weeks. Some neighbors say weeks. Others say it's looked like this for years. A few years ago, um, and there's always at least one, usually two or three, in various stages of dismantle or remantle in the street, in the front yard, wherever. It is legal to do minor work on your own car in your own yard, but there's a line this property owner crossed. It becomes major auto repair. We're removing engines. We're, uh, you know, you're doing some sort of body work, um, or you're working on somebody else's vehicle. Uh, that it that it becomes a zoning issue. William says City of Albuquerque inspectors have visited this property where body work and moving engines are clearly taking place. But inspectors haven't been able to confirm this corner shop is a commercial one. News 13 also attempted to confirm what is going on in this yard, but we too were blocked by a gate Hello. and didn't get an answer. Yeah, he's not taking care of his uncle's you know, new latest car. This is a business. Some neighbors say they think this is a business because the homeowner asked to fix their cars for a price. I don't like it at all. If I lived right across the street or right next door, I'd be real irritated. They want this engine out of the dirt and this jacked up car out of sight. So their neighborhood looks like theirs again. I like the quiet and I like the pretty and I like the, you know, but I don't like having a business in the corner. Five different complaints were filed with 311 the past couple months. The city told us they're monitoring the situation, but cannot do much until the inspector finds an apparent violation of the code. Dean. All right, Brittany, thank you. Now, if that homeowner does get notified of a code violation, he has to comply or face a judge.